All right, hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles, and in this video, I'm going to make a quick video on how to loop your music for your slider. In our last video, we had everything set up and we we're able to change the music volume separately from the effects volume. Um, but in this video, what we want to do is go ahead and loop the music so that it's continuously, of course, looping. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is go over to my actions for my play music trigger. Remember our play music trigger was just going to on start. It was going to play whatever actions we have here. And so what I want to do now is go ahead and grab an action. Now, what you're going to need to do for this is actually go to audio and look for play audio source, but you won't see it. Um, and don't be surprised because I actually just made this particular action just for this. So what you're going to do is go ahead and head over to the hub and download the play audio source action and put that in your folder um, just like described before. All right. So what we want to do is go ahead and go to audio, play audio source. Now, what we're going to do is add an audio source. Now, the audio source is interesting because it gives us the ability to make all types of changes to the sound. So we're going to do add component and you just want to search for audio source and you want to do that directly on the action there. All right. Now in here, all you need to do is assign this audio source to this area here. So you can actually click and drag this there like so. Now the audio source is sourcing or referencing this here. So now we need to put the clip we want for the music to be. So I'm just going to go here, grab my sound, drag that clip there. Now in terms of the music, uh, the mixer group, you can actually take your mixer group for your music, click and drag that here, and you should be good for your music. Now in terms of playing it, um, I've included a true or false here. Basically, if this is checked, that means it's going to play. And if it's checked, it's going to stop the music. So this audio source can also stop in audio source if needed. So we're going to go ahead and click play and we have everything set up. I'm not going to mess with any of these settings here. And let's go ahead and hit play and see if this is working. All right, so our music is working. I'm going to go ahead and turn that down. And there we go. So everything is still working as it should. We have our sound effects. Everything is working there. All right, perfect. All right, so in terms of looping your sound, this is going to be able to loop because it also gives us the ability here to loop. So I'm going to go ahead and hit loop. And so when that plays, it's going to just continuously play until you actually want it to stop. So let's go ahead and stop it. So what you can do is just to test it in this case, I'm going to go to add action. I'm going to put a weight here and I'm going to say, let's say after five seconds and then we're going to play or we're going to stop the song. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this one and paste it. And all I'm going to do is hit this check box. So now the song will play. It's going to wait for five seconds and it should stop it. And so we want this to be able to work. So let's go ahead and try it out. We hit play. And let's wait for a few seconds and it stops it. Perfect. And that's exactly what we want. And of course, we don't have an action to restart it. But of course, all your effects are still there. All right. Well, I hope that was pretty simple and straight to the point here. Um, again, um, yeah, this will give you the ability to loop your sounds and whatnot. And so it just makes it um, pretty easy. Now, I just want to keep in mind to let you guys know, of course, there's going to be other ways to do this. Um, this is Unity. This is Game Creator. So um, there's so many different ways to accomplish, you know, changing your music and 
changing the volume and getting sliders to work. Um, but just keep in mind, this is just one approach to maybe uh, getting it to work. This may not work for all situations, but um, I hope it does work in some situations so that um, you can change your volume and your effects sounds. But anyway, um, this is uh, Charles and Endgame Hustle. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, please feel free to leave some comments and let me know what you think. All right. Talk to you guys soon. And of course, always remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.